Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Janet. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about skincare. Now, skincare is a very tricky thing for me because I have very dry and sensitive skin. I cannot wear just anything or just use anything um, because my skin does what it wants whenever it wants and I've had had really bad allergic reactions to certain things like swollen eye like chemical burns on my face like I'm talking just really bad things where I was just literally scared to try products and I finally found stuff that has worked for me and is working for me and I know some of you guys might have a hard time just like I did you know I would YouTube I would get uh, Google you know products that were good for people with sensitive skin and it's just it was really hard like I couldn't find something that was reasonable priced and that it was gonna work for my skin um, so yeah uh, I finally found a couple of products that I've been trying out and I've been using for a couple of weeks now and they have been working amazing and have made my skin like clear and healthy looking um so yeah um first thing is first i am not paid by any of these brands i bought these products with my own money and um yeah let's get the video started so first thing for sure you want to drink a lot of water and you want to watch your diet to have clear skin and healthy skin if you're not taking care of your body, you know, it, your body's going to show it with time. So for sure, drink a lot of water. Water is like my everyday thing. Drink it every day. Drink it in the morning. Drink it with every meal. Water is just amazing for your skin. Second thing, um, talking about scrubbing your face and keeping your face fresh. Um, I use the St. Ives blackhead clearing green tea scrub I use this every other day I don't use it every day this is just to keep your face fresh it's really good it smells really nice this has very 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 tiny beads and they're good for exfoliating and it's not so rough definitely recommend this and you can find this anywhere Target Walmart um, just anywhere that sells like um, face stuff or like um, makeup stuff like that okay next thing I am going to talk about is hydrating and I use this after I get off of the shower or before I start doing my makeup or just if I'm starting my day this is what I normally go and use I use the Clinique clarifying lotion and this is the number two and this is for dry combination now I know I said I have dry skin but I got a sample of this and I tried it and it worked really well with my skin. Um, I'm kind of afraid sometimes of trying like different things because like I said, I've gotten chemical burns and that was not fun. Like that was really scary. <laughs> so I tried this and it worked really well. So I decided to go and get this one. Um, this, I know it's just maybe a little bit pricey, but I know that they always have sales going on at like Old Tower Sephora where you can get it for like 50% off. That's what I did with this one, and I believe I got this for like $13. So it's a pretty good deal, and it's like a huge bottle. This is a 13.5 fluid ounce, so pretty good deal. So what I normally do with this, it's I open up the bottle, and I grab like a round cotton thingy. Or you can grab like a cotton ball. So I just put some on there. Just wet it a little bit. And then I just press it on like my red spots. And then I just press it on all over my skin. And I just press it on to make sure that my skin absorbs it. And it feels a very like refreshing. It's kind of like minty. The next thing that I go in with, it's the... It, cosmetics confidence in a cream and that's what that looks like now after I I, uh, I apply the Clinique um, clarifying lotion I go in with a, a cosmetics cream and then I just put it all over my face it's a really really good hydrator it's so good like I was so happy when I found this um, I actually got this in my BoxyCharm box, but I was actually going to go and buy it because I got a sample of it, and it worked so well. It kept my face moisturized throughout the day, like especially when you're wearing makeup, you know, sometimes my skin gets dry, but this worked so well. My skin was, my skin was hydrated throughout the day. 
Um, so yeah, definitely recommend this. This is really, really good. And it smells pretty clean. Like, it smells fresh. It doesn't smell like perfume or anything like that. It smells like natural stuff, which I like. The next thing that we're going to talk about is um, eyes. I have very, very, very bad under eye circles. Sometimes, you know, it's just genetics. It's what happens to just lack of sleep, which I'm guilty of. Sometimes I cannot sleep. Sometimes my anxiety or my depression just keep me up at night and then I can't fall asleep. And, you know, it happens. Um, so I was always looking for something that was going to work for my eyes and I tried different things. Some things worked, some things didn't. I decided to try this out. Ulta had a sale and I read a lot of good stuff about it. So I decided to try it out and this is the IT Confidence in an Eye Cream. Now I apply this every day um, in the morning and at night. I apply this before I'm going to put on makeup and then I apply it at night after I removed everything and yeah I'm ready to go to sleep. I apply that on there. And this is good for taking care of the dark circles and trust me right now they probably look bad but they have looked way worse. Okay, and then the next thing that I am going to talk about is the lips. Now, you don't really need too much, and there's so many different ways to do it. My way is pretty simple. It's not too complicated because I'm always on the run. There's always something going on. So, you know, the fastest thing to do and the easiest thing to do is to take care of your lips. Just get a lip scrubber. Now, I use the Jeffree Star Velour Lip Scrub. I have the Blue Raspberry. It smells so good. I'm obsessed with it. Um, it's just you know rub your lips with it um just rinse them off or like you can lick off the sugar um because it's, it's edible and it tastes really good <laughs> um just do that and then right after that um i like to apply um the carmax um it's really good i apply it at night and i apply it in the morning right before i'm going to put on any type of lipstick or lip gloss i've tried different ones um and i just don't feel like they moisturize my lips enough where this has I buy like packs of them and I have them literally everywhere my backpack my purse my room at just everywhere and um, it just it works really well so it's pretty cheap and it's a very very good moisturizer now the next thing that we're gonna talk about is removing makeup we use a lot of stuff that just is so thick sometimes and so it just sticks to your skin. You know, eyeshadows are super pigmented that sometimes you can't take them off of your skin. I cannot use makeup remover wipes. They burn my skin. They dry my skin. They give me rashes. I can't use those. I've tried um, makeup removing liquids and they do not work for me. Again, they give me rashes. It's just, it's a mess. They make my skin burn. It's uncomfortable. And, you know, all I do is irritate my skin. I've been using this for years. My mom has been using this for years. I know a lot of women that have been using this for years. I need to have this lotion or face cream, again, in every room as well because it just has helped my skin so much in getting it moisturized. Now, this cream is not for everybody. It is pretty thick and pretty oily, so it's not for everybody, but it works amazing for me because it just helps me a lot. It's gentle and, you know, it's more oily than it is, like, drying for my skin as for when I'm removing my makeup. And that is the uh, Jergens, um Face Cream. It's pretty inexpensive. I think it's, like, $6 for the tub, and it's a 15-ounce tub. Now, this one does have a perfumey smell, and it is, like, thick. Um, I, I also put this on, like, if I got sunburned. This is what it looks like, and I'm just going to show you with, like, my skin here, like, how oily and moisturizing it is. Like, it's pretty oily, and like I said, if I got sunburned or um, if my skin just needs to be moisturized, this is my go-to. And, you know, I use it sometimes right after I get out of the shower or sometimes before I put on makeup. Again... That cream is just multi-use. If I'm going to remove my makeup and it's just very thick and just very pigmented, again, I go in with the little cotton rounds, put it on my skin, and then I just start rubbing away. And it mostly takes away all of, this, all of the makeup. Um, if there is anything more that needs to be taken off, I go in with other products that I will be talking to you guys about right now. 
but yeah this is very inexpensive it's very moisturizing multi-use i use it every day you can find it at walmart or target um i think maybe even walgreens um it all depends on what stores you go to but if you look for it you can find it the next product that i'm going to be talking about is the lancome um, bifacial and then this is um, eye makeup remover now i bought this on a sale because it is a little bit pricey for um, how much product you get but it is lancome so it is a prestige brand so i understand why it would be, it would be a little more pricey but um, I bought this on a sale. They had it Ulta. I got it for 50% off. And it works pretty well. You shake it. And then you just dab your cotton swab with it. And you just um, start rubbing the eye makeup off. It works really great re with removing eye makeup. It literally just kind of like melts it off. And then what I've noticed that whenever I use this, it kind of like rejuvenates my eyes. Because you know when you put too much makeup on your eyes, whether you're sensitive skin or not, you're irritating your skin, you know, with the brushes and rubbing your skin. I feel like this helps a lot with just like calming the skin down and just kind of restoring it. So I really like this. And the next item we're going to talk about is the Green Clean by Pharmacy. Um, this is another product that I got in my BoxyCharm box, but I had tried this before and I had heard so much about this brand. It works pretty great. The only downside is that it doesn't remove all of the makeup so if you're going to be using this i recommend using another makeup remover it smells clean um that's kind of what it looks like it's kind of like a paste almost um you grab a little bit you put it on your skin and then you just rub everything off and it just literally like melts everything off and then you're supposed to wash your face right after and um yeah but like i said um it doesn't remove everything 100 percent so you want to go in with something else. I normally use this like if I'm going to remove my makeup and jump into the shower. Because it's like I'm going to rinse it off anyways. So that's normally how I use it. Because um, it is a little um, tricky to wash it off completely or rinse it off because it is kind of thick. So you just want to make sure that you have enough space to rinse it out. And you know that you're not going to be dropping water everywhere because it does happen. <laughs> um... And then the last thing that I'm going to talk about, and it's like another one of my favorite things. I use it like five times a day. I have one with me in my backpack. I usually carry one in my purse. Like, I absolutely love this product. I use it before I put my makeup on, after I put my makeup on. That's the Rose Water by um, Mario Badescu. This is so good. Like, after I'm done putting on my face stuff, I spray this on to like seal everything or like if I'm going to be applying like heavy makeup, I spray it on just to make sure that my skin's going to be moisturized under all that heavy makeup. Like this is just so good. Like I really recommend this. It's not expensive, but it's not like 100% cheap either for what it is. Um, it's rose water, um, but it is like $13 for like this full bottle. Um, they do have like the little bottles for like $6, but I mean, if you're get, trying to get a better deal, go for the bigger one. I go for the bigger one because it's a better deal for me because I use it so much. This is an 8 fluid ounce bottle, but yeah, I use it for everything and I even spray it on my hair too. Like, it helps me whenever I have like little flyaways. I just put it on there. It gives you a little bit of a shine. But yeah, it's so good. It's so good for a lot of things. So that's the one thing I recommend. Um, again, it's not too pricey, but it's not like the cheapest thing out there. But yeah, those are all my skincare stuff that I use so far. Um, they're all pretty good. They all work really well for me. I will be trying more things out in the future and letting you guys know about them. And... Yeah, I hope this video helps you guys out in your skincare journey if you're trying to find something that works for you. Make sure you guys hit the like button if you like this video and leave me a comment down below on what kind of products you guys use. And yeah, subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys!